born in technology. Even before you're born, you're electronically probed, measured, recorded, and digitized. In a word, you are redundant even before your birth. And you'll die in technology, entangled in electronic appendages designed to outstrip your human limitations. In between these two moments, you are endlessly recorded, databased, cataloged, placed on call in a culture driven by technology. Your digital image comes to life before you do and remains on earth long after you are gone. Your identity is determined by an endless number of recording devices, from surveillance cameras to ID cards. Your identity is also determined by your desire to mold yourself after the recorded images that you see. You work out to achieve a Hollywood physique. You decorate your home like pictures in magazines and on TV. You dress your kids like pop stars. This is the way, the way of being, being in a technological, technological culture, and you, you can't outrun it. it. It's a struggle, struggle between, between you and your, and your multiple digital, digital shadows. shadows. So let's rewind for a moment. What exactly is technology? Technology is not about material things like ultrasound devices or EKG machines or home computers. Technology is a way of being. Living technologically means viewing all earthly things as potential resources. A river is not a river but an energy resource. You put a dam in it to power a hydroelectric plant. The river is challenged by technology to be something more than a river. And human beings are not immune to this sort of challenging. You are standing reserve, placed on call in a world challenged by technology. Martin Heidegger entitled this activity of challenging as Gestell or in framing. It's important to remember that Gestell can also be translated as skeleton. What's ironic about Heidegger's definition of technology, a standing reserve, is that today technology has nothing to do with standing. It has to do with sitting in a screen-obsessed culture. We are all sitting reserve.
Your body is rotting, decaying, dying. But you don't care. On the screen, you have multiple lives. Aristotle walked as he philosophized, relying on the physical activity to generate new ideas and recall old ones. Today, memories are fabricated in Hollywood. And the activity of remembering involves sitting in front of a screen. But humans aren't designed to sit. In fact, chronic pain caused by sitting is the most common medical complaint in our sedentary culture. And such pain leads to the disintegration of the brain's gray matter. Sitting in front of a screen is a deadly activity. time to reframe our understanding of technology around the human body itself, which can only go so fast and can only last so long. Your body isn't going anywhere. Your body isn't going anywhere. Your body isn't going anywhere. <laughs> 